in question 4 we have to simplify each of these seven expressions that you see here so let's start with the first part in the first part we have this expression a square minus b square whole square so this is of the form x minus y whole square where x is a square and y is b square and we can expand this as x square minus 2xy 2xy plus y square so let's apply this identity to this expression so the expression is a square minus b square whole square okay so we will now expand this so we will get uh, x square or the square of a square a square square and then we will get minus 2xy so minus 2 into a square into b square and then we will get plus y square so plus the square of b square like this all right now a square square is a to the power 4 then we have minus 2 into a square into b square so that's minus 2 a square b square and then we have b square uh, square so that will be b to the power 4 so this is the simplified or expanded form of the expression in part 1 so this completes part 1 next we come to part 2 in which we have this expression 2x plus 5 whole square minus 2x minus 5 whole square now this expression can be simplified in a very interesting manner instead of expanding these two uh, parts separately we can note that this whole expression is of the form a square minus b square where a is 2x plus 5 and b is 2x minus 5 so this whole expression is of the form a square minus b square so a is 2x plus 5 so we have a square and then b is 2x minus 5 so that so we have uh, minus b square and we know that a square minus b square can be written as a plus b times a minus b so let's apply this observation to simplify this expression so we have 2x plus 5 whole square minus 2x minus 5 whole square so we uh, in we factorize this as or we simplify this as we write it it as a product of a plus b and a minus b so a plus b will be 2x plus 5 plus 2x minus 5 so this will be the uh, bracket a plus b so 2x plus 5 and then 2x minus 5 so this will be a plus b and to make sure that you are understanding this i will write a and b below these brackets and then the second uh, factor will be a minus b the second part of the product will be a minus b so let's write that also a minus b will be 2x plus 5 minus 2x minus 5 and this whole thing will be the second part of the product so 2x plus 5 a 2x minus 5 is b so a minus b so the first part of the product is a plus b the second part of the product is a minus b and now we can simplify this quite easily from the first bracket a plus b we will get 2x plus 5 plus 2x minus 5 so let's open the brackets 2x plus 5 plus 2x minus 5 into from the second bracket we will get 2x plus 5 and then we have minus 2x minus of 2x minus 5 which will become minus 2x plus 5 the sign of minus 5 will get inverted uh, as plus 5 so now from the first bracket we have 5 and minus 5 cancelling out so we have 2x plus 2x so that's 4x from the first bracket and from the second bracket we have 2x and minus 2x cancelling out so we have 5 and 5 which is 10 so we get 4x into 10 and this is simply equal to 40 x so 40 x is the simplified uh, form of the expression in part 2 so this completes part 2 now we come to part 3 in part 3 we have the expression 7 m minus 8 n whole square plus 7 m plus 8 n whole square so the first part of this expression is of the form a minus b whole square where a is 7m and b is 8n so a minus b whole square can be expanded as a square minus 2ab plus b square 
and this is how we will expand the first part 7m minus 8 in whole square the second part is of the form a plus b whole square where a is 7m and b is 8n so we can expand this using the identity a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square okay now let's apply these identities and simplify this expression so we have 7m minus 8n whole square plus 7m plus 8n whole square so let's expand the first part 7m minus 8n whole square will be uh, 7m square minus 2ab so minus 2 into 7m into 8n and then we have plus b square so plus 8n square and then we expand the second part 7m plus 8n whole square so this will be uh, 7m whole square or a square plus 2ab so plus 2 into 7m into 8n and then plus b square so plus 8n whole square all right now let's see what we have so we have 7m square which is 49 m square then we have minus 2 into 7 m into 8 n so this is minus 112 so 2 into 7 into 8 is 112 so we get minus 112 m n and then we get plus 8 n whole square which is 64 n square okay this is from the first three terms and then from the next three terms we have 7 m whole square which is 49 m square again then we have 2 into 7 m into 8 n so this will be plus 112 m n and then we have plus 8 n whole square which is 64 n square now in these terms that we have obtained the m n terms cancel out so we have minus 112 m n and plus 112 m n these two terms cancel out we have 49 m square plus 49 m square so this is equal to 98 m square and then we have 64 n square and 64 n square these two terms add up to 128 n square so the simplified form of the expression is 98 m square plus 128 n square this is the answer for part 3 next we come to part 4 in which we have the expression 4 m plus 5 n whole square and 5m plus 4n whole square so two parts in this expression both the parts are of the form a plus b whole square and a plus b whole square can be expanded as a square plus 2ab plus b square so this is the identity we will use to expand both the parts in this expression okay so we have 4m plus 5n whole square and then the second part is 5m plus 4n whole square now let's expand the first part 4m plus 5n whole square this will be 4m whole square plus 2 into 4m into 5n 2ab and then we will have 5n whole square so this is the expanded uh, form of the first part and now let's expand the second part which is 5n 5m plus 4n whole square so this will be 5m whole square plus 2 into 5m into 4n and then we will have 4n whole square all right now let's simplify this so we have 4m whole square which is 16m square then we have 2 into 4m into 5n so 2 into 4 into 8 is 40 so we get 40mn then we have 5n whole square which is 25 n square then we have 5 m square which is 25 m square 5 m whole square is 25 m square then we have 2 into 5 m into 4 n so 2 into 5 into 4 is again 40 so we get 40 m n again and finally we have the term 4 n whole square which is 16 n square now we will collect the like terms so we have 16 m square and 25 m square this totals to 41 m square then we have 40 mn and 40 mn this adds up to 80 mn so we have 80 mn and finally we have 
ट्वेंटी एन स्क्वायर प्लस सिक्सटीन एन स्क्वायर दिस एड्स अप टू फोर्टी वन एन स्क्वायर सो द सिंप्लीफाइड फॉर्म ऑफ द एक्सप्रेशन इज फोर्टी वन एम स्क्वायर प्लस एट्टी एम एन प्लस फोर्टी वन एन स्क्वायर दिस इज द आंसर इन पार्ट फोर नेक्स्ट वी कम टू पार्ट फाइव इन विच वी हैव टू सिंप्लीफाई द एक्सप्रेशन टू पॉइंट फाइव पी माइनस वन पॉइंट फाइव क्यू होल स्क्वायर माइनस वन पॉइंट फाइव पी माइनस टू पॉइंट फाइव क्यू होल स्क्वायर सो दिस पार्ट इज सिमिलर टू पार्ट टू इन द सेंस दैट दिस एक्सप्रेशन इज ऑफ द फॉर्म ए स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर where a is this expression 2.5 p minus 1.5 q and b is this expression 1.5 p minus 2.5 q so the whole expression is of the form um a square minus b square where a is this expression inside the box and b is this expression inside the box and we know that a square minus b square can be written as a Plus b, a minus b. So this is the identity we can apply to simplify this expression. So a, as I said, a is equal to 2.5 p minus 1.5 q, the expression inside the first box, and b is equal to 1.5 p minus 2.5 q. and the whole expression is of the form a square minus b square so we can simplify it by calculating a plus b and calculating a minus b separately and then multiplying the two so let's calculate a plus b separately so a plus b will be equal to 2.5 p minus 1.5 q this expression plus 1.5 p minus 2.5 q okay So 2.5p plus 1.5p is 4p, so we get 4p, and then minus 1.5q minus 2.5q is minus 4q. So a plus b we get as 4p minus 4q, 4p minus 4q. And similarly, let's calculate a minus b now. So a minus b will be 2.5p minus 1.5q, that's a, and then minus 1.5 p and minus 2.5 q. Okay, now let's find out the value of a minus b. So we get 2.5 p minus 1.5 q, and then from uh, this part minus of this bracket, we will get minus 1.5 p, and then this minus and this minus will become plus. So we will get plus 2.5 q. Okay. and now this will give us 2.5p minus 1.5p is p and minus 1.5q plus 2.5q is q plus q so we will get p plus q so a plus b is 4p minus 4q and we can write 4p minus 4q as 4 times p minus q and we get a minus b as p plus q So finally remember what we have to do we have to multiply a plus b and a minus b a plus b we obtained as 4 times p minus q and a minus b we obtained as p plus q if we multiply a plus b and a minus b we will get a square minus b square which is the original expression we wanted a square minus b square which is this whole expression that we are trying to simplify so a square minus b square will be Uh, a plus b, so four times p minus q times uh, a minus b, which is p plus q. So p minus q times p plus q. Again, we can use this same identity to simplify this. So this will be equal to four times p square minus q square. And I can, if uh, if you want to expand this, you can write this as four p square minus four q square. so this is the final simplified form of the original expression 4p square minus 4q square and this is the answer for part 5 so this is a slightly uh, trickier question compared to the other parts so make sure that you have followed it fully and if you have not i will urge you to pause the video and go through it a couple of times till you have understood it fully now we come to part 6 in which we have to 
simplify this expression ab plus bc whole square minus 2ab square c so the first part ab plus bc whole square is of the form x plus y whole square where x is ab and y is bc so x plus y whole square can be expanded as x square plus 2xy plus y square so we can apply this identity and uh, simplify the expression in part 6 so let's do that we have ab plus bc whole square and then we have minus 2 a b square c so let's expand uh, this part using the identity that we discussed so we will get a b whole square which is x square plus 2 x y or 2 into a b into b c and then we will get uh, y square or b c square and then uh, we will have the second part minus 2 a b square c so minus 2 a b square c now let's simplify all the terms so we have a b whole square which we can write as a square b square we have 2 into a b into b c now in this product we have two repetitions of b so we will get 2 a b square c so make sure that you've understood uh, this product 2 into a b into b c will be 2 a b square c then we have b c whole square which will be b square c square and then we have minus 2 a b square c and now in these terms we see that the second term 2 a b square c and the fourth term minus 2 a b square c these two terms cancel out and we are only left with a square b square plus b square c square so this expression is the simplified form of the expression in part 6 so part 6 is done now let's do the last part part 7 in part 7 we have to solve or simplify this expression m square minus n square m whole square plus 2 m cube n square so the first part of this expression is of the form a minus b whole square where a is equal to m square and b is equal to n square m so a minus b whole square can be expanded as a square minus 2ab plus b square and this is the identity we will use to simplify the first part expand the first part so we have the expression m square minus n square m whole square and then we have plus 2 m cube n square so the first part we expand using the identity we discussed a minus b whole square so we get m square whole square minus 2 ab so minus 2 into m square into n square m and then b square so n square m whole square and then we have this last term plus 2 m cube n square okay now let's simplify the terms so m square square is m to the power 4 and then let's look at this product 2 into m square into n square m in this m square and m will give you m cube and you have n square so we have minus 2 m cube n square okay next we have n square m whole square which will give us n to the power 4 m square so n square m whole square will give you n to the power 4 and m square and finally you have the last term plus 2 m cube n square so in these terms the second term and the fourth term cancel out they are negative of each other and we are left with only m to the power 4 plus uh, n to the power 4 m square okay so this expression that we have obtained this is the simplified uh, version of the expression in part 7 so with this we have completed part 7 and we have uh, finished question 4 to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams explore qmath leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers